Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Royal Stone! Last time, we recruited a monster into our party, so we gotta get it set up so we can actually use it now. Okay, how's it going? How far could it possibly be? Well, we'll see. About that. Oh, who's that guy? We better look around for him. And anyway, over here, we got a new shop called the, what, what I like to call the mystery shop. I don't think there's a name for it in game, but they got some really good stuff there. And a new equipment shop, so we want to upgrade that stuff too. But let's talk to everyone here first. Well, nuts. I hope they're okay. How important could they possibly be? But anyway, we gotta find Deva, and she is over here. Okay, how's it going? Trying to learn how to work the thing? What is it with JRPGs giving us stones, or triforces, or crystals, and why don't the good guys ever know how to use the darn thing? I don't know what AY stands for. I'm guessing it's like their equivalent of like BC or AD or whatever. But I don't think they ever say what the Y stands for. After years? I don't know. Huh. Well, I clearly have one. Oh, yeah, I kind of follow her everywhere. Kind of creepy, actually. But... Um... How do you know all this? Do you know how to use the thing? But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I haven't played all the games, but like, how come the good guys don't know how to use the thing? Do you know how to use it? No, not really. It's just really, really old. That's about all I know about it. Whoa. Huh? Titans? Oh, well. Yeah, it is pretty old, so... Sure, why not? Are we gonna be going there? But alright, more party members with Perlis. He's essentially a healer, and that's going to be really good for us. So now, let's actually get some good stuff here. Let's head to the mystery shop. The way it works is they never talk to you, and they don't tell you what you're buying until after the fact. So, you see, we got all this. We don't know what it is. So, I will just tell you. It's the same thing every time. It's not random. The first item is a longsword. We don't care about that. It's a total ripoff. Same thing with this one. That's also uh, leather armor. So, yeah, we don't want that either. So, usually the most expensive stuff are total ripoffs. But I do want to get this item. That is a bastard sword. The tier 3 sword in the game. So, just a little weaker than the Claymore there. And let's see, this one is steel armor. We want to get five of those. And both the Bastard Sword and the steel armors here are much cheaper, well, maybe not much cheaper, but a little cheaper at least, than you can actually buy them for at stores. So, and I want to get an extra one of each of those for future party members, because we won't be able to buy them for a little while. Anyway, this item is really good. It's the sneakers. What they do is you use them. It's a consumable item. And it improves the speed of a unit by one. And that's really important for melee fighters. Because if they have like five speed and they're going through rough terrain, divide by two, you're only in round down. So you only get two units of movement through rough terrain. But if you buy the sneakers for them, they can get up to six, divide by two, that's three units of movement. And that's huge in the game. And this item is the Bible. There's an NPC later who says, in order to upgrade healers, you need to have an item to do that. That item is it. So let's use that. So let's see, we get this item, really, really cheap for some reason. Use it on a healer, and voila. Their stats are significantly increased there, and they have access to a whole bunch of new spells, all of their spells. Like, right now we only have access to the Tier 1 spells. But then there's four more that are, well, maybe not much better, but they're useful. But yeah, there is one that's really good for them. So, uh, 
yeah, we'll get to that. So might as well use it on them now. There's really no reason to just leave them as healers. If you don't buy it for them now, there are shops later on that you can get the Bibles from. But anyway, with the sneakers, I want to use that on Nico. And I'm going to save the other one for a fire DPS character that we're going to be getting later on. I don't want to give it to... Uh, what's his name? Scrawl? Or her name. Yeah, I don't want to give it to her because, well, being wind elemental, uh, forests, I think, are the most common terrain type. So she's not going to have a problem with that for the most part. There are some areas that have water or fire, or fire or, well, desert terrain that she'd have a problem with. But I usually don't care about that on those levels there. So, or battles. So, there you go. Okay, so now let's equip all that new stuff that we just got. So let's see, we got Bastard Swords. I want to give that to the Satyr Monster. How a lizard can use a sword, I don't know, but that's his equipment draw. He really likes swords. So, okay, there we go. And I also want to give him the Steel Armor. So, yeah, the real advantage of monsters over the fighter job class is that they have a lot more... Uh, HP, and they have one more speed, too. So that's really helpful for them. So they have six. So let's see. Taurus, we're not going to use you anymore. You've been taking too much experience as it is. So, yeah. All my fighters have now been replaced. And I don't care to use them ever again. Okay, so we got Steel Armor. Want to give that to Ava. And another one to Nico there. That's essentially your tier 3 heavy armor. And let's see. Scrawl. There we go. And like I said, I want to save one steel armor, one bastard sword for later. Same thing with the sneakers, too. So everything else, we can sell. So now, let's head over to the equipment shop to get some stuff for our bishops now. I almost said healers, but no, that's not right. Okay, so let's get that. Whoa. Careful. Okay, sell all the chain armors. Okay, so bastard, steel, sneakers, that's all we need. Okay, so now I want to get a rod for uh, Perlis there. It's a tier 2 weapon for them. And robes, which are the tier 2 armor. Okay, so let's equip that on them. Let's see, I think I already have one for Pauline there. Yeah, she already has one. So give that to you, that'll help you out a bit. And the robes. Let's give it to them. I like how they have equi er, uh, class upgrading in this game. There's other classes that can do that too. An NPC will tell you about that later on. But for right now, let's not worry about that. We'll just worry about the classes we've got for now. So, let's see. Just sell the staff. And the capes. That's the base armor for them. So, alright. We're looking pretty good. Let's uh, save up here before we head out. Actually, you don't. You could save elsewhere. Um, let's see. We are there. Um, no, let's save there. But yeah, um, you could save after talking to Ava, saying, "Shall we go?" And then you can depart and save just before you start the battle. But I don't know. Maybe something could go wrong with the quarry. Maybe I want to change things up. I don't know. Okay, so let's. Select who we want. Basically, ignore the fighters and use everyone else. So, yeah, we got a new fire elemental guy. Awesome. So, basically, in this battle, I want to try and get some levels or experience for uh, Sator, my new monster, and Perlis, if I can. I'm not going to go too far out of my way for that, but I'd prefer to do that. What are you doing with those guys? I thought you were on our side. Yeah, he's the old guy who has been uh, following us around for the first several battles. Nuts. Oh, they got hurt too? Not p pure! Oh, man. Okay, but... 
Well, we'll see what we can do. I'll just tell you right now, we're going to have to kill. If you... One thing I tried when I first played this game, I thought they might be doing something clever and make it so that if you kill everyone else but him, you could save him, but no, you can't do that. If you do, if you try, they will still... He will still fight you because they have the hostage, so... At least to my knowledge, there's no way getting around that. So, let's try uh, scanning some of them if I can. No, nope, we're not close enough. Not nearly. Oh. But I do want my healers to get up front there. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're probably not going to be able to scan anything either. So, we'll just do the best we can. Let's see. Get you... Game? There we go. Move you there, and pass. Now, we got the water there, so that's uh, going to cut down our movement range a lot. Except for Nico there, so she'll be pretty useful. Unfortunately, there aren't a whole lot of fire elemental guys here, so she's probably going to have to focus on the water elemental characters that they have. Okay, so, we got Azure there. Oh, by the way, the spells he has. Uh, let me look that up here. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Uh, Frost and Bolt. So, you want to use a water elemental character, or not water, um, wind elemental to take him out. Because he doesn't have the blaze spell. The fire elemental one. So, let's just do the best we can. Not even going to bother scanning Azure because, well, I know what he has already. Hmm. Yeah, let's go there. I usually like to scan the enemies in the back as much as possible, or first. Because the ones up front are probably going to reveal themselves when they come at me anyway. So yeah, this is the first of many battles where the terrain is really going to screw us. But, oh well. Not much we can do about that. Let's scan you, because you're barely in range. Yeah, that's quite a beard you got there, pal. If that is a beard on Perlis, I don't know. Maybe it's part of his hat or something. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well anyway. Let's uh, put you there. Try to scan at least one guy up there if I can. Okay, well, we can get this guy, too. So yeah, they've got a whole bunch of water elemental characters. I don't really like changing up my uh, party formation based on the terrain. Because I like to distribute the experience more among other party members. So, let's see. Okay, we got you. How far can you go? You can go that far. You can go that far. Okay. So, let's put you... Let's go up there. Try to bait the monsters out. Now, what I would like to do is try to... Uh, where is it? Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, never mind. I was going to say recruit a siren from this battle, but we actually don't need to do that because we're going to find one later on in the relatively near future. But still, water on water, it's a good idea. I just hope I don't get killed by Azure and his bolt spells. Maybe I should have played it more conservatively and used other things. Nuts! Um, I think I want to run. I don't want Azure killing me. I didn't think both of them were going to be able to get to me, but I guess I misremembered or something. Oh, you know, he might not be able to get in range. Because uh, the Tier 2 offensive spells, are uh, they only have a range of 3, not 5. So, yeah, he couldn't get in range. Well, that works for me. Okay, how are you doing on levels? Let's see. I want to try and get my healer, or Perlis, up to level 12 as soon as I can. And the rest of them... Okay. So, let's see. Where are you? Can you even get in range? No, you can't. Maybe I can uh, soften that one up for you, Perlis. Let's try that one out. Not bad. Not bad. So, let's see. If I get... No, let's not risk it. I was thinking about using a skill... Probably would have dealt, like, about 19 more damage, so it might have been easier 
for Perlis to kill the guy, but then I might accidentally kill it with uh, Scrawl there. Besides, we can kill him all the same. Or her all the same. Hooray! Easy enough. Let's see, how are you doing there? Hmm, can I kill you? I think so. Let's do it. Now I don't have to worry about, um, Azura tr killing me. So, oh! Huh, that's weird. Yeah, I guess she went below, uh, 25%. I was, I was thinking she wouldn't guard from a regular attack, but, hmm. Well, I guess it is 25% then. Hmm, let's see. Can anyone else kill her? You could. You cannot. Hmm. They do have a healer on their side, so... Er, yeah, yeah, they do. So, gotta watch out for that. But, yeah, I can't just let her stay alive like that. Whoa, what happened to my dark spell? Kind of glitched there for a moment. I see that every now and then, but uh, it's usually not too extreme. Oh. Nuts. Well, at least I can get through their guard a little... Or blocking a little easier. Well, you're only going to get half your HP back from uh, spell an or heal spell anyway, so I'm not worried about it. But I do want to heal her up. So basically, what I want to do in this first part of the fight is just hold the island here, let the enemies come to me. And then once I've... Uh, Tap their members down a bit, then I can uh, afford to go all out and start getting to the northeast area, to the next town. Whoa! That's ow. Nuts. Well, you can't kill me with a crit, so I'll go with boost. Oh yeah, that was one thing uh, quite a few people were asking me. H.C. Bailey, when you're on the battlefield there, why aren't you using boost, or dark, or peace, or any other status spells that you got? And well, the thing is, you can't do that. You can only use them in battle, even though the game pulls up the list of your spells. Uh, I don't want her to kill her. But yeah, you can't use them outside of battle. It won't work. The only spells you can use on the field are scan, and scan, heal, and life, I think. Oh, and, you know, offensive magic when we get them, but, I mean, as far as, like, not, as far as non-damaging spells go. Oh, wow, you took quite a hit there. Okay, let's see, I can get Perlis up there? Where are you? There you are. Okay, so, does anyone else need healing? I don't think so. No, we're doing pretty good, I think. What are you doing? Are you... Oh, no, you're not quite at max. Okay, I can have Ava do that. I don't want to get her into another battle right now. Yeah, always important to keep up with the healing there. Besides, I'll need Pauline to return the favor soon. So, let's get you up there. And finish that guy off. Why don't you? There's going to be some wind elemental enemies that we can fight eventually, so I'm going to try to give those kills to my satyr if I can. Or however you pronounce the, the guy's name, I don't know. Okay, so heal Ava. And I'm probably going to need to have someone else kill one of those guys, so that way they, all three of them can't gang up on Ava. So let's see, what do we got? We got you, you're almost it max, but I think we can not worry about that. Yeah, we're not going to be able to finish her off, but maybe I can get her health down low enough to make it easier for someone else to kill later. Okay, let's see. Let's finish off the monster then, because I don't need Ava to do the job. Yeah, I don't need to try and recruit a monster, so... All right, good shot, Nico. So yeah, my melee characters, I can get them up to level nine 
but my healers and Ava, I want to get up to level 12 for now. And uh, what about you? Hmm. You've got a lot of HP. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should go after the mage. Probably not. No, you just stand pat for now. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? Oh, she had to get in range to heal so the healer wouldn't get exposed. Yeah, they do that sometimes. Not. Well, at least they didn't attack Ava. So, we're gonna have to take you down, old man. Sorry. Gotta do it! I'm probably gonna have Ava try to kill him in one shot with boost. Okay, yep, let's, uh... Oh, you know, I probably need to heal you. Let's see, Pauline? There you are. Work your magic. Another thing about the status spells I was thinking about, they only last for the duration of the two rounds of battle. Once you uh, finish that battle, whether you live or die, the status spells go away. So, yeah, not much we can do about that. I don't really want to give more experience to Ava right now, but if she can kill him, that's more important. Yeah! Got it. Oh, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, old man. Man, how are we going to explain it to Papure? Well, okay. See what I can do. Sorry. You kind of left us no choice, so. Okay, we got wind guys there, so we can do that. And let's heal up Ava. Yeah, Azure is just too powerful for me to want to leave alive just so someone else can get the kill. We had to take him out quickly. Because, man, those spells hurt a lot. Even without an elemental weakness. Hmm. If I go there, I'm worried that the wind elemental guys will gang up on her. But I am at full. So, yeah, let's go for it. I'll play it a little risky. Oh, nuts. She's going to defend that. Or, no, she won't. Right. Okay, let's see if I can finish you off with a good special. Ah, oh, come on! Ugh. How do you miss her? Okay, well, I'm going to have to uh, hope that she doesn't get killed now. <sighs> yeah, now she can attack and not get killed anymore. Oh! Well, thank you. He's the guy I wanted to attack you with anyway. Um, yeah, I can attack. Now that there's no more uh, wizard there, they can't just gang up on me. Or you could just get all the lucky crits and dodges. Thanks, game. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run from this one. Well, at least with a miss on my skills, I still don't lose my HP. So, at least that's nice. It's only it only happens if you actually damage the guy. Man, they're all ganging up. Well, not the water character, but yeah. Good? Okay. Let's see. What do we got there? Let's, uh... Chop you down the size just a little bit. Good. And then we'll have Perlis finish her off. Get out of there. I don't need to take any more hits. That is a problem with uh, leveling up your healers early on. Because you're spending time killing enemies instead of uh, actually healing. Man, a lot of my characters need some healing. Hmm... How are, how are we doing there? You definitely need it. Ava's fine. So, yeah, we can just heal those two with what we got. I'm, I'm probably going to have Nico check out one of those characters that I haven't revealed yet. Just, uh, just to reveal them, see what we got, or what we're dealing with. Okay. Get out of there. And then... Just, 
Yeah, just run away. See ya! Okay, let's see. Can I get over there? Yes. Okay. Well, we got a whole bunch of wind, but nothing else. So, they'll probably try to gang up on Ava there, but I, I need to heal up Perlis a little. Oh, and by the way, uh, Perlis and Pauline, they're identical now. The stat gains per level are fixed. So we don't have to worry about one getting more stats than the other. Okay, um... No, you know what? Let's just uh, knock it down to size a little bit. I was thinking about using boost, but I don't need to get any more kills for you for a little while. I want to get the new party members up to speed. But if you get a crit, well, okay, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm not going to re-record just for that. Man, they're all win? Oh, I didn't think they had quite that many, but... Okay, whatever works for you. I may decide to have my party back off a little bit because they're kind of getting a little too close for comfort. But I'll see what I can do. But yeah, I'd like to have Sator kill all those guys. Yeah, get out of there. I don't need to uh, take more damage from you guys. I can't even damage you that much anyway. Well, I guess that works. Whoa. Which one are you? The healer? Oh, right. You're not the boss. I was thinking of another battle where the healer was the boss. So, let's take this guy out. Why a sword increases your damage when you're breathing fire on the enemies, I don't know. But, well, there it is. So, okay. What do we got? Anyone? Let's see. Squall needs some healing. And you could help out a little bit, too. Let's see, what do we got here? Okay, so let's move you back a little. Let's get you... Oh, I can't even do that. I can't even move two tiles? Wow. Lame. Okay, uh... Let's see. Can you get in range of killing one of them? No, because this guy has too much... Or, wait, I could have you go... Okay, yeah, I can do it. Not too worried about Ava's HP at the moment, so... Yeah, we'll just keep pressing on, then. Kill this... Or, knock this guy down the size, and then if Perlis is gonna finish him off. Melee fighters don't really get as much of an advantage from leveling up as... Uh, healers or Lord does. So leveling them up isn't as important. Not to mention, the heal... The other characters actually draw aggro on them. Hey, hey all right. Two levels. Sweet. So, let's see. Can I get you? I can get you over there and kill the guy, but I don't think I want you to. Oh, you're at level eight? Okay, I guess. Wait, what level is... Uh... Now, let's just stand pat there. Yeah, you're still level six. You need to get some of the kills. Okay, so let's see. Scrawl? Yeah, you need the healing the most. So let's do that. There is a fire guy coming up too that I still need to take out. And pass the turn. Nuts. Well, whatever works. These guys are really weak anyway, so I'm not too worried about them. Oh, they're all just gonna gang up on her. Okay. Whoa! That's it?! From a crit?! Really?! Haha! <laughs> yeah, that, this is why you want to level up Ava. She gets massive stat boots for a lot of levels. And I can knock you down the size, too. Oh, something else about this game I was just thinking of. Uh, all spells that can be used on the field are single targeting. You, you don't have, like, Final Fantasy Tactics or, uh, like, this guy. You, don't, you can't hit multiple tiles in one spell. It doesn't work that way. So, let's see. Okay, I'm going to have to move someone out of the way. Okay, that works. 
Um, who does need healing, though? Do you? No, I don't think so. Um, you know, I forget. Hold on, let me... Ugh! Game? So, yeah, you can use the healing. So, let's get you up to speed. Ah! Damn it! Click or whatever you want to call it. Finish him! There you go. Maybe I'll even have uh, you take out the boss, who is Wind Elemental, by the way. Let's see, we got Healer there. Hmm. Let's at least get everyone onto land first. Uh, where's the other guy? Okay, he's probably going to go down. So let's send you that way to take him out. And I'm just gonna move you up. Er, yeah, move you there. So that way we can gang up on you later. Well, at least I can heal one person correctly today. And let's see, you're probably not gonna be doing a whole lot for a while. So, you know what? Let's just uh, move you up here. Nah, I don't want you to finish the guy off. But I do want to heal Perlis. Can I do it correctly? Yes, I can! Alright. Well, yeah, it's so good having three healers, because in the event you screw up or, or, or misclick or whatever, not really clicking, I'm pressing a button, but you know what I mean. With three healers, you won't get completely screwed over. That's okay. I'm not worried about him. We'll just have uh, Sator finish him up. I'd like to get him up to level 8 if I can with all these enemies. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, see how their healer is uh, blocking the way there? So we'll just leave her there for now and send the others through the other path. You can't block both of them. Oh, you actually are going up there. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. I can't finish off the healer in one hit, can I? No. Okay. Well, then let's finish off that guy, at least. Because he's not very valuable. But yeah, I think the guy that's coming towards us now is the fire elemental character. Because the boss will stand pat all the time. So, let's put you there. Oh, how am I going to finish off the healer, then? Hmm. That could be annoying. Let's, uh, try and chip away at your HP, because healers can't heal themselves! And I can't use boost on them, because they'll just use dark on me. Well, unless it's Ava. Well, actually... Hmm. Yeah, they probably wouldn't in general. Let's see what I can do. Hey, hey! Nice shot, even though you were uh, blinded. Sweet. That'll make it easy for to, to make the kill. Are we all good on HP? Looks like it. Yeah, we're doing good. Let's send... Ava this way. And... You know what? Let's scan... You. Yep, it was the fire guy. Okay, I knew it. So basically, what I'm trying to do with my party members up top there is I want to put one guy there so that way we have these three... Yet areas where we can attack the enemy who we draw out that way. And let's heal Perlis a little bit, too. Man, the battles really do take a long time in this game, but that's eh, worth it. I don't mind going for a little extra length on this game. And I don't want you to get the kill. I want Sator to do that. He really needs the levels. Uh-oh. Hmm, surprised they don't give you, like, boss music or something. Well, I can't one-shot the guy, but I can at least boost up. I just don't want to kill him. With, not with Ava, anyway. Whoa! Now, try this! Yeah, there we go. Sator can kill you then. Okay, so, move up. 
and then go in. So I can rotate my guys out as I see fit. Probably send in Nico to uh, soften up the fire elemental character there. Let's see, can I make it? Yes, I can. Yeah, let's do it like that. Um, let's go with skills. I'm not too worried about taking damage here. Not bad, not bad. Let's do another one. Hope I don't get a crit. Yeah, because I don't want to kill the guy. I just want to soften him up for Sather to kill. There we go. Mm, let's see. Let's move over here just so that I don't have to uh, worry about him blocking off the path for us. I think I'm just going to leave Ava alone there. I mean, I'm, I'll probably heal her, but... I'm not going to have her, like, retreat or try to push the guy back right now. Right now, I just want to get up to speed. I don't think I'm even going to have her attack the guy. Just stay there. And hope you don't get a crit. Uh, against you, that is. And, okay. We're looking pretty good there. Uh-oh. One thing I always find kind of odd about this game, and the first game too, how mages, or healers, or whoever, magic users, they seem to have a tendency to have such high uh, speed or movement range compared to melee fighters. You would think without the range, melee fighters would want to have more speed. But whatever works. Uh, let's see. Let's move you there. Maybe try to draw the guy out if I can. And I will send you in there. Alright, good shot there. Monsters seem to take a bit longer to level up than humanoid units. I could be wrong on that. Um, yeah. Heal up, Ava. Unlike the first game, simply... Stepping on the castle, or wherever the bad guys are coming from, that doesn't automatically end the battle. No, the only way to do that is kill the boss. In this case, we actually had two. We had Azure and this guy. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything with the other guys, so I'll just leave them there. Just keep running away. I just don't want to risk getting a crit and taking all the experience. And go there. And just run away! Okay, one more shot ought to do. I don't think... Or, no, he is a fighter, I think. He could block. Or I could just get a massive crit. Hooray! There is going to be another use for monsters later in the game. There is a way that you can actually use them, like the monsters in Crystal Warriors, but not in this... Or, well, yeah, I mean, it is in this game. But, I mean, not yet. We will be doing that later. But now that we've reached uh, the next town, we can recruit a fire DPS character. So he's going to have the skill, ability, and everything. So, yeah, definitely want to recruit him. But can we rescue... Papur from the Imperial Army? Find out next time on Let's Play Royal Stone! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!